In the small coastal town of Port Aransas, Texas, the tranquil beaches and warm gulf waters were both a haven and a hazard for locals and tourists alike. It was here that Caroline Summers, a 32-year-old marine biologist, had spent countless hours studying the sea life she adored. But a few months ago, her life had taken a harrowing turn when she encountered a shark while conducting research. The attack had left her with deep physical and emotional scars. Determined to regain her strength and return to the ocean, Caroline had begun physical therapy at the local rehabilitation center. Her therapist, Dr. Nathan Carter, was known for his expertise and compassionate approach. Nathan, a 36-year-old with a calm demeanor and a warm smile, had helped many patients recover from traumatic injuries. Caroline's first session with Nathan was a mixture of nerves and determination. She arrived at the center with a slight limp, her left leg wrapped in a brace. Nathan greeted her with a reassuring smile. Hi, Caroline. I'm Nathan. We're going to work together to get you back on your feet, he said, his voice filled with gentle confidence. Hi, Nathan. I'm ready to do whatever it takes, Caroline replied, her eyes reflecting a mixture of hope and fear. Over the next few weeks, Nathan guided Caroline through a rigorous but carefully planned rehabilitation program. He taught her exercises to strengthen her injured leg, improve her balance, and rebuild her confidence. Nathan's encouragement and patience made each session feel like a step closer to recovery. One sunny afternoon, after an especially grueling session, Nathan suggested they take a walk along the beach. It's important to reconnect with the place you love, Caroline. Let's take a break and enjoy the ocean, he said. Caroline hesitated but agreed. As they walked along the shoreline, the sound of the waves and the salty breeze brought back memories of her pre-accident life. Nathan noticed her tension and gently took her hand. It's okay to feel scared, Caroline. But remember, the ocean is also a place of healing, he said softly. Caroline looked at Nathan, his presence a steady anchor. Thank you, Nathan. You've been more than just a therapist to me. As they continued their walk, their conversations flowed naturally. They talked about their childhoods, their passions, and their dreams. Nathan shared stories of his love for helping people recover and the satisfaction it brought him. Caroline opened up about her fascination with marine life and her longing to return to her research. One evening, after a particularly successful session, Nathan invited Caroline to join him for dinner at a local seafood restaurant. I know it might be tough, given what happened, but I think it could be a good step forward, he suggested. Caroline agreed, and they spent the evening enjoying fresh seafood and lively conversation. Nathan's presence made her feel safe and understood. As the night wore on, they found themselves laughing and sharing stories as if they had known each other for years. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day. Nathan admired Caroline's resilience and determination, while Caroline found comfort and inspiration in Nathan's unwavering support. They began to spend more time together outside of therapy sessions, exploring the town, watching sunsets, and even attempting a few cautious swims in the shallows. One day, after a particularly challenging swim session, Caroline found herself in tears. The frustration of her slow progress weighed heavily on her. Nathan sat beside her on the sand, wrapping his arm around her shoulders. It's okay to feel this way, Caroline. Recovery isn't a straight line. It's filled with ups and downs, he said softly. Caroline looked into his eyes, feeling a warmth and connection that went beyond patient and therapist. Thank you, Nathan. I don't know what I'd do without you. Nathan brushed a strand of hair from her face. You're stronger than you realize, Caroline. And you've become more than just a patient to me. In that moment, the unspoken feelings between them surfaced. They leaned in and shared a tender kiss, the waves crashing gently in the background. It was a kiss filled with hope, healing, 
and the promise of something beautiful. From that day on, their relationship blossomed. They continued to work on Caroline's recovery, but now their sessions were infused with love and mutual support. Nathan's dedication to Caroline's healing was matched by her trust in him, both as a therapist and as a partner. As the months passed, Caroline's strength and confidence grew. She began to swim further into the ocean, with Nathan always by her side. They shared moments of joy and triumph, and their love deepened with each new milestone. One sunny morning, as they stood on the beach watching the sunrise, Nathan took Caroline's hand. Caroline, you've come so far. Your strength and courage inspire me every day. I love you. Tears filled Caroline's eyes as she smiled. I love you too, Nathan. Thank you for believing in me. Their kiss was a promise of a future filled with love, adventure, and healing. Together, they faced the ocean, knowing that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would conquer them side by side. In the heart of Port Aransas, where the waves met the shore, Caroline and Nathan's love story was a testament to the power of resilience, the beauty of healing, and the magic of finding love when you least expect it. As they walked hand in hand along the beach, they knew that their journey together was just beginning and that the tides of love would carry them forward, forever united in strength and devotion.